We've hit the ground. This is Korriban. Why would one of the Jedi you're looking for come here? It seems quiet. Just the wind. But deep beneath the surface, you can feel the pain of what took place here. There is great power in this place, for those who can hear its call. There is much that would draw a Jedi to this place. The resting grounds of the ancient and more recently departed Sith contain many teachings believed lost. The most likely place to find our lost Jedi is the ruins of the old academy. It was said that Revan intended to return to Korriban to subdue any potential Sith insurgents, but Revan disappeared. It took a year or two for the Republic to send a force here to deal with any Sith that may have remained. They found Korriban much as we have, barren and lifeless. It was assumed that the remnants of the Sith turned on each other, vying for what little power remained. The Republic found evidence that several Sith Lords escaped Korriban, fleeing to remote sections of the galaxy. As lifeless as it seems, the dark side is very strong here. The Sith Lords would not ignore such a powerful place. There is much that can be learned, even here. If you walk Korriban's surface, you shall walk it without me. I cannot. This place is strong with the dark side. It is difficult to center myself here. Korriban holds few secrets from me, but much that you should learn. I will remain here and meditate. Our link remains. I shall contact the... Dark energy fills these ruins, and even the fallen Sith live still. The structures you see around you are the plundered tombs of the ancient Sith Lords. Each tomb was once infused with the history and heritage of the old Sith Empire, containing great mysteries and powerful relics of the Force. However, even the many traps could not long hold back the curious, the fools, and the weak. And so these tombs fell, spilling their secrets into the hands of those unable to comprehend or preserve them. Is the tomb of Naga Sadao, successor to Marka Ragnos, and the Sith Lord responsible for nearly conquering the Republic in the Great Hyperspace War a millennia ago. More recently, this tomb was where Revan confronted Uthar Vin, the leader of the Sith Academy. When Revan left Korriban, the Sith Academy was thrown into turmoil. With their leader gone, many fought for the right to rule. And so, the Sith here turned on each other, 
resulting in the carnage you can see covering the surface of this valley. This was the tomb of Tulak Horde, known as the greatest lightsaber duelist of the Sith Lords. His skill was considered remarkable even in his time, when many true lightsaber masters lived. If you were to face an ancient Sith Lord in combat, you would learn that we are as children playing with toys compared to the prowess of the old masters. That is unknown, but supposedly he created a holocron to teach his technique to other Sith. The holocron would have been laid to rest in his tomb. Unfortunately, Tulak Horde's tomb was among the first penetrated by the grave robbers of the new Sith Order. If the holocron has survived, I doubt anyone living would know its location. The broken corpses before you are all that remain of the Sith and Korriban. I doubt there is much to be gained from looting these bodies. It would be best to leave them be. Fool! You've disturbed the spirits of this place, and they have sent their guardians. Hisses are semi-intelligent beasts, corrupted and strengthened by prolonged exposure to the dark side. As creatures of the Force, they have a limited ability to mask their presence. Hisses are drawn to suffering and carnage. They must have fed on all the corpses left over from the war here on Korriban. The angry phantoms of the Sith, too weak to influence the sentient, have taken these hisses as thralls to their will. This way leads to the tomb of a Junta Paul, a fierce Sith Lord. According to legend, the blade proved more fearsome than the master, leading to his demise. Ajanta's dark specter lived on through the centuries until Revan entered the Sith Lord's tomb in search of the blade. Revan calmed the angry ghost of Ajanta Paul and showed him the path back to the light. One who has fallen so far and done so much evil does not deserve redemption. In a way, such a turning from one's nature is cowardly, a betrayal of the self. Yes, redemption is merely a form of spiritual collapse, a fall few recover from. Sith Lord, Marka Ragnos, 
a half-breed who possessed tremendous strength, both physically and in the Force. Ragnos held power for over a century, using his cunning to turn his enemies against each other. His death left a great vacuum of power. We're standing close to the spot where Naga Sadao first confronted Ludo Kresh to vie for domination of the Sith. Their struggle nearly resulted in a civil war that would have torn the Sith apart before they ever threatened the Republic. Yes, it is the way of the Sith. They must continually test their strength against each other, even if it means destroying themselves. As fate would have it, a pair of hyperspace explorers from Sinagar landed on Korriban. Naga Sadao manipulated the Sith into believing they were a sign of impending Republic invasion. This fear resonated with many Sith who were discontent with the lack of expansion of the Sith Empire during the reign of Marka Ragnos. Thus, Naga Sadao became Ragnos's successor. I advise you to finish your explorations within the Academy before venturing into the cave. Expect more than these beasts within the Academy. Be prepared.
I will answer. My people once had the power to perceive events, to see through the Force. That sight may manifest itself in many ways, and at times, I may affect the abilities of others to see as well. Is there something else you wished? Dark Jedi left her impression here. This door has been sealed intentionally.
Oh, yes. I felt this Jedi's death shortly after we arrived on Korriban. Did you come here for answers? There are none. The call of Korriban is strong, but it is the call of the dead. I have studied you, immersed myself in you. I know the paths you walked in exile. I know your teacher. I know the fires that raged upon the ducks and moon while the Republic died around you. You know war, you know battle. And I know of Malachor. You know what it means to be broken. The one who travels with you will destroy you, as she did me. I can end it before it begins. I know her as an apprentice knows their master, and as a master knows an apprentice. She clings to hope that perhaps she can train one as great as her first. She is a fool who escaped death once. She will not do so again. You are a wretched thing. A thing of weakness and fear. You are her apprentice in name only. I am the master. And that is why you will die.
did you come? I have you. You are and that is why you will die. This is not a battle that can be won. Flee. There will be another time, but it is not now, not here, while Korriban runs through him. Do not harm her. I command it. She has earned this. She and I will meet again. <laughs> 